So guys this is the first ever ROM video on this channel and in today's video I am going to show you the best Android Oreo ROM for your Redmi Note 3. So with that being said let's get started. So guys firstly you must have a proper rooted device with unlocked bootloader and DWRP installed. If you don't have all this go and visit the XDA thread and if you are unfamiliar with the terms there are multiple videos on YouTube to help you out. Now before starting the process back up every data on your phone and all of your data will be erased in this process so keep that thing in mind now firstly hold down the volume up and power button to enter twrp now go to wipe and select advanced wipe and select everything apart from micro sd card and then swipe to confirm now go to install and select the nitrogen os rom package which you have placed in your micro sd card beforehand and the link to all the files are down in the description box below so don't worry about that now once done swipe to confirm flash now the installation will take some time so be patient now once this is done go back and select the open g apps package in your sd card and swipe to confirm flash again the link is down in the description box below so don't worry about that now wait for some time and be patient After that we have finally booted up into nitrogen os rom now i will quickly set up the device and then continue now this rom is running on the latest android oreo with the latest december security patch so now guys these are my impressions on the rom after 12 hours so initially let's see what's working now the wi-fi works fine volt is working fine bluetooth is well and good and most functions are working except two which I would talk about later in the video. Now the ROM is extremely fluid and responsive with almost all audio features like the picture in picture mode, redesign notification panel etc. Now talking about what's not working, the camera default app was not working so I disabled it and installed the footage camera app from the play store and that works fine. Now another strange thing is that you cannot set a pattern, pin or password for locking your device because the settings app crashes every time you try to do that and that happened even while booting. Now this thing can be fixed by reinstalling the ROM I think and also this issue might not appear on your device. So keep that thing in mind. But apart from these two issues this ROM is so far so good. So guys this was my first ever ROM video on the channel and do let me know in the comments on what to improve and with that being said if you like the content go ahead leave a like and subscribe to the channel and catch you guys in the next one peace out